learn ICT with Amali's IT classroom. Today we are going to learn about data representation methods in computer system. That is the third module in grade 12. First we will see what is number system. In all the digital devices, numbers, characters, symbols, images, audio, video and different types of multimedia items represent as numbers. So the group of numbers that the digital devices understood is known as the number system. And in number system, there are limited number of numerals representing. So the smallest unit in digital devices we called as bit. Now what are the number system we should learn? We have to learn four number systems. First one is binary, second octal, third decimal and fourth is hexadecimal. So what is binary? Binary means the base value is 2. So what do you mean by base value? The number of values In a number system, we should know three words. Those are unit, number and base or the radix. So what is unit? Unit is a single object. You can say a mango, a rupee, a day. We can consider as a unit. Then the second one, number. So number is a symbol which representing a unit or quantity or the number of items you can say. Then what is base or radix? The number of symbols used in a number system. So if they are used 8 values, then we call it as base is 8. If it's used 2 values, then we call it as base is 2. The base of any number system is indicated in decimal numbers. Now we'll see in different number system, there's something called positional value or the waning factor. So what is waning factor or the positional value? So in here I have given a table which containing all four number systems. So in the first row it says 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4. So like that in other number systems also it's giving the power of each number system. So that's what we call as the waning factor or the positional value. So in binary 2 to the power 0 is 1. So not only in binary in all the number system power 0 is equivalent to 1. So like that 
In this table, it's explaining each and every number system with the positional value. Now we'll see how we convert the different number systems or the conversions between different number systems. So binary we can convert into decimal, octal or hexadecimal. Then decimal you can convert into octal, binary or hexadecimal. Likewise, octal as well as the hexadecimal also you can convert into different number system. So you can see there are 12 methods you should learn how to do this conversion. How to convert decimal numbers into octal, binary and hexadecimal. So when you want to convert this decimal into octal, binary, hexadecimal, we use a one method. So when we convert decimal number to any other number system, we should divide the number by relevant base value until it gives zero value. That method you can follow when you want to convert into decimal to octal or decimal to binary or decimal to hexadecimal. Now in here it's explaining how this decimal number you should convert into binary. So as an example, it's giving a value of 29. So you have to divide 29 by 2. Then it's giving 14 and 1 is remaining. Then you divide 14 by 2. Then it's giving 7 and no remaining. Then 7 divided by 2. It's giving 3 and 1 remain. Then 3 divided by 2. Then it's giving 1 and remaining 1. Then you divide 1 by 2. Then it's giving 0 value and remaining as 1. So you have to divide a number until you get 0. So now you got the 0. So you got the answer. So how to read the answer? You have to get the values in reminder from bottom to top. So according to the given example, what is the answer? 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 and base is 2. Now we'll learn how to convert decimal to octal. So as an example, it's given 2980. So once you divide 2980 by 8, it's giving 372 and 4 is remain. Then 372 divided by 8, 46 and remaining 4. Then 46 divided by 8, it's giving 5 and remaining 6. Then 5 divided by 8, it's giving 0 and remaining 5. So what is the answer? You have to read it from bottom to top. So your answer is 5644 and base is 8. Now you can convert decimal to hexadecimal. So as an example, it's giving 10,767. So once we divide this number by 16, it's giving 672 and remaining 15. Then 672 divided by 16, it's giving 42, no remaining. Then divide 42 by 16, it's giving 2 and remaining 10. Then you divide 2 by 16, then it's giving 0 and remaining 2. Now once again we'll be reading the answer from bottom to top. So it's giving 10. 10 is representing as A, then 15 is representing as F. So in here you can see the second value is 10. So 10 you can give it as A and the last value is 15. So 15 you can represent as F. So final answer is 2A0F. Now the second type of conversion, so any number, any number system, when you want to convert into decimal, what we should do, we have to multiply each value by the positional value. And then those values are adding together. 
So in here it's explaining how we convert octal or binary or hexadecimal into decimal number system. So the first one binary to decimal. So in binary to decimal number system, in here you can see how we convert the value. What is the question given in here? 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 3 ones. So first of all you have to write it down and then starting from the right side you have to give the positional value. So when you're giving the positional value, first one is 2 to the power 0, then 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 5, 2, 2 to the power 6 and 2 to the power 7. So if you're given the value of each positional value, it's 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128. Then by using arrows, each one you have to multiply. So the first one, 1 into 1, it's equivalent to 1. Then 1 into 2 equivalent 2. 1 into 4 equivalent 4. 0 into 8 equivalent 0. 1 into 16 equivalent 16. Then 1 into 32 equivalent 32. 0 to 64 equivalent 0. 1 into 128 equivalent 128. Now we'll be adding all these things together. Then you'll be getting 183 as the answer. Then in octal to decimal conversion, you have the example 172. So in here, like previous, you have to write down the positional value starting from the right side. So 2 is 8 to the power 0. Then 7 given in 8 to the power 1. Then 1 given in 8 to the power 2. So 8 to the power 0 into 2 equivalent then 8 to the power 1 equivalent to 8. 8 to the power 2 equivalent 64. Now you can multiply 1 into 2 equivalent 2. Then 8 into 7 56. Then 64 into 1 64. Now we can add all these three together. Then as the final answer we will be getting 122. The base is 10. Now the last one hexadecimal to decimal. So in hexadecimal to decimal you have the example 1a. So a is 16 to the power 0 positional level. Then 1 is in 16 to the power 1 level. 10 into 1 equivalent 10. 1 into 16 equivalent 16. Now we'll be adding these two values together. So you'll be getting the answer 26. Now in here we learn six types of conversion using two methods. So in my next video we will see how to do the other conversions. If you are interested to listen my new videos, you can subscribe to my video channel and also you can press the bell icon.